How much can I use my words to empower somebody? Stay tuned to the end of the video and we're going to figure this out. Or I'm going to try some new stuff. Check out my t what I'm going to look forward to testing out in the future to see if I get better results. Well, guys, unfortunately, tomorrow, my live for Thursday is not going to happen. You know, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm going on my trip. So I'm, I said I was going to do a live on Thursday. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it because we're going to have to leave out on Thursday night because there's going to be a lot of snow coming in on um, Friday when we were supposed to leave. So, you know, us truckers, we do a lot of trip planning. You know, I was doing my trip planning and I was all like, man, if I get out of here at 5 a.m., that's about the time the snow starts. So I checked all the weather on my path and it would be snowing on me for, I don't know, like probably like seven hours worth of my drive. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have to skip out on my live. I'm going to have to leave out Thursday night and I'm going to go for it. So unfortunately, no live Thursday, but y'all please save y'all's questions next Thursday. I'm pretty sure that there's not going to be a live again because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be out of town. You know, I'm going to take the whole week off. So when my channel's not, you're not seeing videos on my channel, it's probably because I'm out of town and I don't have time to make a video because I'm enjoying myself. And I'm going to turn my phone app off, like, my, and I'm going to turn my cell phone off. So if y'all are trying to get a hold of me, y'all are not going to be able to get a hold of me for a couple days because I'm going to spend some good quality family time. You know, and I wanted to also talk about, like, whenever you're, when you're taking your test out there, stay focused on what your trainer taught you to do out there. You know, the one of the number one reasons people fail their test is because of bad pull-ups. So, you know, 90% of people fail their tests because of bad pull-ups. And, you know, that's a high number. So I tell my guys, don't play those odds. Don't be in that 90% that failed their test because of a bad pull-up. So, you know, your trainer's going to teach you how to pull up. If he tells you, hey, look in front of you and drive to in the middle of the two cones in the middle of the lane so you'll straighten out like that's what you need to do don't be trying to come up with your own thing like that alley dock you know why most people are scared of that alley dock is because if you pull up the wrong way you get stuck in it and there's not much room in that alley dock to pull up so you know, one of the things I tell my guys is do not pull up right. Whatever you do, don't pull up right. Because nine times out of ten, if you pull up to the right, you get yourself stuck in there. And that's why everybody's scared to do this alley dock. It's because you can get yourself stuck in there. And, you know, whatever your trainer, however your trainer taught you to pull up, that's what you need to do. Like, here lately, I've had several guys felling because of bad pull-ups. And it, it hasn't all been on the alley dock. But I've had several guys this year fail because of bad pull-ups. And I don't know, I don't get it because I've been so successful all this time. And then this year I've had, a, like, man, I probably had out of, I think I tested out about 20 people this year. Maybe, I don't know, 16 to 20 people this year I've tested out. And I think probably about six of them have failed the first test. And, you know, it, it all boils down to the pull-up they made. I had one guy fail the pre-trip. Now, he was nervous, and he was a nervous wreck. That's a whole nother ball game of why people fail their test, is being nervous. But that, whenever they, whenever the maneuver doesn't work out perfect, you just make up whatever you want to make up. Like, it's not good. You know, you don't want to just try some stuff out that you never tried in practice because your trainer is going to give you all the steps and all the information of how to fix anything you might run into out there. And, you know, sometimes it might be like, hey, 
just pull up to the middle, start your maneuver over. Sometimes that's the only way to fix it. So, you know, they're going to tell you when it's a good time to do that. And you got plenty of time on this test. But don't also a lot of people also fail because whenever they get into a bind, they sit there and do absolutely nothing, nothing like I'm the kind of guy that tells my guys, you know, right before they test, I'm the kind of guy that tells them, hey, man, if everything fails that you try, do whatever it takes to get it in there, like do whatever you need to do to get it in there. Never give up. And that's the attitude I have, like never give up. We're always going to fight for it. We will fight to the end. And that's kind of the attitude you need to have. Also, you know, sometimes you just got to back up and see what's going on. Like, get off that brake pedal. That thing's a uh, handicap to you. Get off that brake pedal. Get it in there. So, I got two guys testing tomorrow. And, you know, that's two more people that are going to pass for me this month. So, you know, I... Hope that they have a nice, easy test and they breeze through it and they do everything that I've taught them. If they do everything that I've taught them, then boom, trifectas. But, you know, that backing, if they don't pull up the way that they've been taught, they're going to have issues. And that's what I'm trying to avoid here is letting, giving all this information is, is I'm trying to educate you right now before you may even come to Prime. Listen to your trainer. Pull it the way he says. Don't come up with your own stuff. Like, try out what he's saying. See how easy it is. And then if if he ever um, says, you know what, do whatever you want. Try out whatever you want, and you're going to find out that it made it even harder. So just keep your, keep your ears open. Don't play those odds of that 90% fail rate. Like, those are bad odds. 90% chance of failing or... Do what you were taught and have a hundred percent. You know, that's the odds you're playing. Like, I'm not a gambling man, but if I was, I don't think I would be playing those odds. They don't sound too good. But hey, it is what it is. Backing, you fell because of bad pull ups. Pre trip, you fell because you weren't studying it or you're just so nervous you don't even know your name anymore. Because I've had that happen. Guys get out there and they're so nervous they don't even know who they are no more. But I think that um, whenever I get back from my vacation, I think I'm going to try some some different techniques out. See if I can make people not as nervous for the test. And I'm going to do, I'm going to change up a little, a few things that I'm doing to see if I get better results. Because I'm always trying to better myself and... Every year I tried to do something better. Like at first it was the driving. So I became really strict on the driving. I made sure to get my students to, you know, learn the bet, like, like be the best out there on the drive, be the safest they can be. And, you know, it pretty much, I had to be really strict on it and real strict. And people are like, I am super strict on it. Ask any of my students. They'll tell you how strict I am out there about safety and being safe. Now, the other guys, the the next thing I worked on was the backing. I got off the points. And um, I was really successful at teaching people how to back without the points. Thanks to help to my friend Justin that helped me out in that. So I was very successful in that. And then, you know, the pre-trip's always been a struggle that there's no way to get that pre-trip like in somebody's mind it has to be them that wants to do it they have to have the mindset and the heart into this to do that pre-trip so next i'm gonna try you know to see if i can figure out a way to make my students a little bit more um confident and a little bit more um like a, a lot less nervous on test day. I'm going to figure out a way to try to calm them down. Like I've heard, I've heard another trainer out there say, yeah, I like to get my students here early on test day and we'll walk around the pad and we'll talk and we'll, we'll just calm down that way. And then I put them on the test and that seems to be working for me. 
So, you know, maybe maybe just to walk around the pad and just talk to my student before the test. Maybe that will calm some people down. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to figure out something. You know, a lot words words you use can empower people. So maybe I'll come up with a new speech on test day, a new speech to give them. Because a lot of times that you do just using your words, you can encourage somebody. You can give them more power by just talking to them and bringing their spirits up on that test day. So I think I'm going to start thinking about a new way to give them a speech right before their test, maybe. Like like things to tell them to do like right now it's always been a joke of mine to tell them hey out there on the drive if anything in my truck falls down just keep on driving man i can replace anything suitcase full of cash falls down on the floor starts blowing around the cab roll the windows up but you don't want the money blowing out when you get back we'll split it because i didn't know it was in here but if the examiner shows up in a ferrari tomorrow i know you cut me out like, I know that you just gave them some of that money. So, you know, it, you know, some people, it makes them laugh. Some people, it makes them calm down. But I think I'm going to figure out something to use my words to encourage and empower somebody to make them less nervous on their test. Well, thanks for uh, watching my video. And, you know, stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. Like I said, I'm going to be gone for about a week. Y'all don't panic. If I can drop a video during that time, I might drop a video during that time. Thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and I'm out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Get my latest lives. Get my newest videos. Also, in the description, there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter. My recruiter's good. Don't forget to drop that referral code, COXDJO. Also, my phone number is 417-894-8098. Drop me a call, text me, something.